Hi guys, Sergey from Ninovo Custom Jewelry here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about platinum versus palladium. Uh, choosing between platinum and palladium engagement ring might be a quite tricky task. In this video, I'll explain the main differences of uh, both of these precious metals, so you'll have uh, full pictures and can decide easily uh, what you actually want to get and what is the pros and cons of each metal. From the customer point of view, I would suggest that look at three things. Uh, color of the metal itself, durability, and the feel of the ring. The overall, how do you feel about this, uh, how nice it is on your finger. So let's start with the color. I worked with both metals a lot and even I cannot tell the difference right away between both of the metals. Uh, both metals are very white in nature, palladium being slightly more grayish. Uh, you will see that difference only uh, on a made or satin finish ring placed one next to another. I mean the platinum next to palladium. But here's the thing, um, usually both of these rings, as well as the white gold rings, would be in a rhodium plated uh, view, basically. Um, uh, to, give it, uh, to give it a nice shine, you have to rhodium plate it both of these rings. Uh, rhodium is a liquid metal from the platinum group, and that's the metal you're looking at both in platinum and palladium rings. So 90% of the time, you're going to be looking at the rhodium actually and there will be no differences in terms of the look. If you choose to do satin finish or mid finish then you can see the difference. Again, in, if you really know what you're looking for and if you hold both of the rings together and uh, also both of them has to be brand new. Um, in terms of durability, both platinum and palladium rings are very durable, probably the most durable rings uh, out there you can find, uh, the precious metal ones. But platinum would be slightly better. Uh, we compare them here primarily to the white gold rings. Uh, in simple terms, uh, when you have white gold ring, you have about 40% of other metals in your alloy. Uh, primarily zinc. Uh, we do have uh, silver in our custom uh, rings, the one that made for the customers with the allergy to, to the zinc, but usually it's uh, zinc itself. Um, every time when you... Uh, so what, what's happening actually? Every time when you're hitting your rings against something, against the metal or other hard surfaces, a uh, microscopic part of the white gold ring would go away. So 15, 20 years later, this ring would lose some amount and become much thinner. Platinum and palladium rings, on the other hand, uh, has two times of the density uh, of the white gold ring and materials doesn't chip away uh, when you hit your rings against something. Uh, they just change the position. So 15 to 20 years later, your ring would weigh exactly the same as it was brand new. I, I actually want to point that it's not like a night and day difference and nothing bad would happen with your uh, gold, in the gold wedding band or gold engagement ring. Uh, my grandfather, after whom I named this jewelry store, Nina and Vola, uh, wore his gold wedding band for 50 years or so and he did oil exploration in Siberia. So probably you will be fine pretty much with any metal. But again, the platinum would be the best choice out of all. This one would live forever. Uh, for the engagement ring, most of the time you'll get into troubles because of the poor craftsmanship, uh, not of the design itself. If the ring is uh, cheaply pre-made and resized and a few other things, uh, that's where the problem's coming from, not from the metal itself. But if the setting is done right and exactly to your measurement, to your specifics, and the jeweler uh, knew what to do with your specific design, 
you'll be just fine with pretty much any choice of the metal. And the last thing I want to talk about is the actual feel of the ring. How does it feel on your finger? The main difference between the platinum and palladium would be its weight. Uh, as I mentioned before, the density of platinum is two times higher than palladium and therefore you need more of the metal to make the same ring. Platinum ring in general, uh, in general would feel nicer, heavier, more expensive in the other words. Although some people would prefer the lighter rings, the one that you cannot almost feel on your finger. So again, it's the thing of the personal preference. Um, you also have to keep in mind that uh, in the engagement ring, there wouldn't be such a big difference. Uh, let's say your engagement ring setting weighs about two gram at max, usually one and a half. And in a, a platinum version, that would be like a four gram or so. The difference you would actually feel is in the wedding band, in the men's wedding band. On average, it's about five grams. So going with the platinum, you're looking at 10 gram or so. And you can actually feel that way on your finger. But again, it's a personal preference. I do like when I can uh, feel the weight of uh, the jewelry especially the bracelets or rings, things like that. I think it's a very nice point over here. I have to point here though that the design of the ring itself would affect the comfort way more than the choice of the metal. Of course, the choice of the metal is the part of the comfort, part of the feel of the design overall, but design would stand out over here. And now when you know all of these differences, it's much easier to make a choice, to make your right choice. Uh, some of it comes to the personal preferences, but overall you get an idea, you get an feel what is better for you, the platinum or platinum. For me personally, the choice always would be towards platinum. I like the few things about it. I really like that it's very durable and it's especially important for the rings that we are talking about, about the engagement rings and the wedding bands, they have to last the lifetime. I like the history of the platinum, that it's heavily used in uh, my favorite jewelry era, the in Art Deco era. I like the fact that it's been around since 15th century as well and the platinum are here for the past like 25, 30 years. So it's not long enough really for the jewelry in, in my personal opinion. And finally, I like the fact that it's very heavy. It, you can really feel it on your finger. You can really feel it as your bracelet. It's just a very nice, heavy, expensive feel overall. Um, there is two downsides and the usually not from the customer point of view. Uh, first of all, it's very um, hard to work with. It's pretty much a nightmare for the jeweler. Of course, it's easy to make a wedding band or something like that. But when we're talking about complex design of the engagement ring, it's very hard. It's very hard to melt. It's very hard to bend. Overall, it's more time consuming and it's overall just the labor is much harder. Um, the other thing, it's pretty expensive. It's usually two times more expensive than the gold. But me personally, knowing all these facts, working with the jewelry a lot, I'm willing to pay the difference just not to take care of it in the future. And again, we're talking about the engagement rings and the wedding bands. I would rather save some money on the jewelry other than uh, this, this type of jewelry. But again, that's my opinion. My your can be different. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. Also, take a look at my article about the platinum versus palladium. There is a little bit more information about the topic. And reading that, you will become almost professional in your choice. Thank you so much again for watching. And I'll see you next Thursday.